Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Inversal relation. Again, same definition, let's repeat the definition of relation. Relation is nothing but on set A, you take the Cartesian product of set A cross A. For example, this is you take A cross A, you get this set. In this, you take a subset, you get relation based on some pattern. And for two sets, if you have set A and B, same thing you will do, you take A cross B. And from this, you take a relation based on a pattern. Correct? The same formula which we repeated. Here, what I'm saying is a relation R on set A is called universal relation if each element of A is related to every element of A. That means all the elements of A cross B fits the criteria. For example, these are the girls. And I say, the difference between age of A and B is less than 100 years. Please note, it is less than 100 years. Now, you take any two girls. You take girl 1, you take girl 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, number them. You take any two girls. You take 1 and 2. You'll find them, the difference between their age is, has to be less than 100 years. Why? Because they are all school girls of class 10. And let's suppose I'm writing their age. So let's suppose Let's suppose the girl is 16, this is 17, this lady is 18, this is 16 again, this is 15, and this is again 17. Age of this girl. So if you take any two girl, the difference in their age will be less than 100 years. If you take these two girls, the difference is one year. These two, one year. These two, two years. These two, one year. These two, one, two years. If you take any two girls, the difference is always less than 100 years. So if you see, now, if I take the Cartesian product A cross A, whatever element comes, that is with 1, I will get 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Similarly, with 2, I will get, right, 2, I will get 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. All elements, in fact, 1, 1 will also part. So 2, 1, this 2. Similarly, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Similarly, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, and 5, 6. And with 6, lady, I'll get the pairing with 1 first. 6 with 2nd, 6 with 3rd, 6 with 4th, 5th and 6 with 6th. So, I have this many values I will get. This complete is nothing but A cross A. And if you see all these values here, they satisfy this condition. Age of 1 and 1, difference is less than 100 years. Why? Because it is 0, the difference is 0. 1 and 2, difference is uh, 1 year. So, this fine. 1 and 3, difference 16 minus 18, 2 years. 1 and 4, 1 and 4 is again 0 years. 1 and 5, 15 and 16, 1 year. 16, 17, 1 year. So if you see all these values, if we count, all these values satisfies this relation. Correct? So here if you see this relation, the objects in this relation are nothing but A cross all the elements. So this is called universal relation. In the early example, when I say A, the same thing instead of less, if I make it more, this becomes empty relation. Why? Because any two objects, if you compare, the, the difference in the age is not more than 100 years. It is always less than you. Correct? That is the difference between universal relation and empty relation. First, try to understand. First thing you have to do is, you have an object or you have a set. So, if you have one set, you get A cross A. You get this values. And then you define the relation, a pattern. If that pattern will take all the objects here, for example, the pattern was A and B, age is less than 100 years. If it takes all the objects, it is universal relation. If the pattern which you define takes none of the objects, then that relation is called empty relation. For example, when you say the difference in the age is more than 100 years, or you say A is the brother of B. In that case also, none of the uh, Object, you know, the values here, 
well satisfy the condition so that will be empty relation so we know what is empty relation and what is universal relation trivial relation is nothing but both empty relation and universal relation are sometimes called trivial relation just a terminology just good to know that trivial relation is nothing but empty relation universal relation both are called trivial relations now having thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again